what does veganism mean to me? Being vegan means having compassion. Having compassion not just for animals, but for people as well. And also eating plant-based foods. No animal byproducts. You know, the simple definition of vegan. But for me, I'm more of a as vegan as I can be or not the greatest vegan in the world. And, I, and when I say that doesn't mean I claim I'm to be vegan and then I'm gonna eat meat, hell no. Meat, fuck that shit. What I mean is I eat and do things the best of my ability. It's like, I'm vegan, that's what I am. And I'm not gonna lie, I do get irritated when people say, Yo, oh, you're a vegetarian. No, I'm not, I don't eat dairy. <laughs> I don't mess with that. I don't eat animal byproducts. I don't eat dairy. I'm not a vegetarian. There's nothing wrong with being a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for a couple of years. And one year I was horrible at being a vegetarian. But that's not me. Maybe I need to make that for another video to be like, why being a vegetarian is different than being a vegan. Mainly, right now it's more acceptable to be a vegetarian. People understand that because they go, well, you know, you're giving up meat, but at least you can still have cheese and all the other stuff. And you don't need cheese. All that stuff's crap. It's garbage. It really is. Why the hell are we drinking somebody else's freaking milk? It don't make no sense. And they try to pass it off as healthy, and it's really not. Hormones, <coughs> chemicals, <coughs> all, you know, all, all that junk. So I like to keep it as vegan as possible. I don't eat honey, but if I did eat honey, I would get it from a local farmer. Because I feel like with the honey, they enslave the honey pretty much. Not the honey, the bees. There we go. They're pretty much, they make, they take all their honey, and the bees, they worked hard for that. Now, if there's something extra, you know, maybe the bees, you know, sharing, caring. You know, I'd be like, what's up, bee? Like, bzz, bzz, the share. So, maybe we could do a little of that. Clothing. Clothing can be hard when you becomes vegan because then you're like this and that and should I wear this and then you have the brands that take advantage of this let's make vegan clothing but we're gonna charge you up the yin yang for it and my, my thoughts on it is if it's already been turned into a material like a belt then there's nothing we can do about that. The best thing we can do is to, if it's a belt company, don't support the belt company. But if somebody gives you a belt as a gift, don't be like, I can't believe you did that. They killed so many people. You know, you can't get all crazy like that. Because that's one of the reasons why people think us vegans are crazy anyways. Because we are really, really passionate about what we do. And when you're really passionate, sometimes you don't realize how it comes off to other people. I know for a lot of people... Veganism is really crazy to them and they will never want to do it because they say oh those vegans They're always being crazy. They're talking crazy and not always the case at all so Hopefully everybody just learns that you know you have to lead by example and That's what I do a lot of times too. You know how many people I've gotten to be a vegan and I don't talk about veganism a lot I've got a lot of people that are interested in it. I've had a lot of people that do vegan challenges. I mean, it's cool. If you want to do it, do it. But every little thing counts. We can get people to do meatless Mondays, things of that nature. We're doing good. So to all my vegans out there, let's all take our time, breathe, and show people why veganism is awesome. Let's not look at them talk down on them and tell them that they're horrible because they're eating meat. No one's horrible because they're eating meat. The planet would be better if they didn't, but we have to be united in showing people that it's okay and you can slowly transition off of it. And also in vegan community in general, we have to stop beating up on each other. I'm vegan this I'm a raw vegan, I'm an 80-10-10 vegan, I'm better than you, you know, all this stuff. It's like, if you're vegan, you're cool. I don't care if you're raw vegan, 80-10-10, you know, all the other ones, or you know, whatever, anything else. I don't know, if you just live off of air, I mean, 
cool for you. I couldn't do that because I like food too much, but more power to you. Do what works for you. That's the episode of My Vegan Life. Hope you guys are good. Do what works best for you. Give a middle finger to everybody else that does not like what you do. If you still eat meat, there's nothing wrong with that. Try to limit it. Because, I mean, or at least get yourself something grass-fed. I'm not promoting meat, but if you're going to eat it, at least try to eat it from a good source. If you don't eat meat, hallelujah, you are helping the planet each day by not eating meat. And we're showing them that slowly but surely everyone's going to turn vegan or at least vegetarian. And it's going to happen. So let's be positive, let's be encouraging, and let's get people on Team Vegan. Peace, love, and vegan power.